happening is your boy DC. You're listening to this race. DC Curry's this race live from the ATL from the new improved up down comedy corner on Virginia Avenue. This race where our motto has always been no hate. But no fear. But no fear. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. But we never run. But we never run. Respect all and fear none. I got my main man, Moot, on my right. In the hazy. I got my main man, Brian Harper, on my left. Always winning. I got Mohammed Bullhead sitting in the corner. <laughs> Will, glad I ain't Smith, technician extraordinaire, top flight security, Richard Dunn. <laughs> I got everybody here except Kanye. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I've been telling y'all the boy was crazy. You did. I wonder this time they're going to take him back. Those of you that don't know, I don't know what rock you've been under if you don't know, but your boy Kanye West. So he got a fashion show in, was it in London? I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. And the boy and his girl show up in T-shirts, White Lives Matter. God damn. Yeah. I mean, I've been out on him. I, I've been out on him since he became Kanye Kardashian, and and a lot of people stood behind him. Yeah, that's and, a, and, 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 and a lot of people here in Atlanta. I don't care about your personal life. I mean, if that's what you like, I ain't, I ain't mad at you. You can't do that one with that platform, DC. Huh? He can do it, but man, we all know that was messed up. What you mean when he mad Kim got that? No, 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 no. When he did what he just did this past few days. Oh, that was that was bullshit. But yeah. I mean, I thought you were referring to something he did. No, I'll just say I just been off of him since then. <laughs> I've been through with him. Yeah, I mean, you were with him after he said black folk being slaves. Well, that's what I was. That's what I was. Voluntary. Yeah, it wasn't a thing with Kim. It's just that he seemed like he started to lose his weight. Now, when he did that TMZ thingy, I definitely. I ain't got to rock with him. I ain't listen to his music. What TMZ then? When he said slavery was a choice. Oh, yeah. He did that. Well, he said that, and then they brought him on TMZ. Oh, the first time I heard him say it, he was, I heard yeah, him he say it. Yeah, he said it. He had said it before they brought him on TMZ. Oh. They brought him, he won't go on TMZ and, well, he said and talk it out. I said before, you know, rest our soul, but once his mother passed, that boy started going. Well, I've compared the passing going. of his mama to uh, He's been going. when Tyson lost uh, right. uh, Custom Yeah, yeah, Custom yeah. But his mom been going still, a long time. Man, and I mean, surely your mama put in steel more. Before she died, you a grown man when she died. So surely your mama instilled more common sense in your silly ass than some of the some of the stuff he's saying. Well, maybe he thinks white lives matter because his kids are half white. So maybe I guess maybe that's maybe that's a reason why. No, nah, man. I mean, from the attention. MAGA hat to Donald Trump to, I mean, come on, man. But he's gonna make a lot of money off of those. Stuff. Oh, oh if some white folk gonna get behind oh, him now for yeah, that. He gonna make a lot. He gonna make a, probably a billion dollars off of those T-shirts alone, just because. And then he gonna have some dumb ass black folk gonna get behind it. That would be crazy. Uh, you know, I, I, oh, it's going to happen, brother. I, 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 it's, it's right some, now, I'm going to hold out on that, D.C. I don't think nobody black. Now, now I mean, you know, not nobody black. You know, so well, black, I'm just saying, like, it's going to be some. But now, I was watching the reaction on social media. They tearing his ass oh, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, if you, if you stuck with him through slavery was a choice, then I don't know what you're tripping for now. Well, his thing is Black Lives Matter is is a sham. A sham. He said yeah. it was a scam. Yeah, it was a scam. And that man, kinda, all I'm saying is like, what more do we need from this man to just say? Sometimes we as black people, we are loyal to our own detriment sometimes. Whether it be money, politics, celebrities, we can be loyal to our own detriment. I can hear some people now, they're going to say, well, he's a billionaire. So what? Exactly. That's worse. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's worse. Money man. don't make you a person that can speak for a whole culture. Money don't make you 
super smart and that's somebody that's be somebody we should follow. And that's where right now in today's media, man, they getting that messed up. I just think he's doing it. I think he's doing it as a shock value to keep himself relevant and keep money coming in. Because as long as he does these outlandish things, we spend time talking about him, he stays relevant because I don't know about you, but I don't know when's the last time I heard of heard one of his songs. I heard an I, album. I'm not he come out with a CD. You can do a hundred different type paper. of things to stay relevant than to support something as such as um, crazy as saying white lives matter. We were you, reminded every day that white about, lives you, matter. You're talking about a brother who, who, who was for Trump, who supported Trump. I mean, this is what he does. Because anything, you can do. he goes against anything you that do. all black folks stand yeah, for. You, and that's you what has else. worked for him. You can do something else. Of that's course, you can else. do something else, but we're talking about this is what he's choosing to do. But he released a CD last yeah, year. You know, CD. he was here when he when he set yeah, the house on fire. Yeah, when we packed out yeah, Mercedes, stayed up in the and, 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 and we packed out. And I'm gonna say we because I live here in Atlanta. I didn't go. We packed out Mercedes Benz Dome and supported that crowd. Well, yeah, how do you know and that? Now look but at you, it. you said how you know it was a predominantly black crowd if you didn't go. You said we packed it, but how do you know? Well, he said it? we Atlanta. Yeah, oh, Atlanta. that's what I mean. Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, most of his Atlanta. fans went. Yeah. Now I would I would think the vast majority, but you still gonna have some. I'm telling you, man, you ain't the only one to think like that. Even the uh, you saw the, the next dictionary door. on Google describes white lives matter as an anti-black. Statement. Yep. Check out the dictionary and see statement what statement designed what. to defend uh, races against Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never heard the slogan of White Lives or Blue Lives Matter until we came up with Black Lives Matter. Ain't no they damn. Never ain't no damn about. Blue Lives. No way. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ain't no Blue Lives. The black man, the police, he take off his blue shirt. What is it? A black man. Black. Ain't no blue lie. Yep. You gonna compare my skin to yeah. the uniform you in? I just let you know. Ain't no such thing as a damn blue lie. I was watching where a black policeman undercover and a white policeman jumped on him and whipped his ass, man. And he was trying to tell him, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a policeman. Yeah, he was an FBI agent. Yeah. Yeah, I seen that one. Mm -hmm. So ain't no, ain't no such thing as a blue lie. Wait, no. wait, what do you mean, blue light? No. I mean, you join police force, God bless you. And that's your life now? You blue now? <laughs> you bleed that shit if you want to. Yeah. I know I'm supposed to stop all this cussing, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye a fool, man. He's gone, man. Like, I, I, I can no longer excuse him. It is so irresponsible. And I wish this whole called cancel culture that they have, which... There's another thing. I wish they would really come out in arms and just drop this dude, man. Y'all need to stop this. He's a genius shit. That's Ain't true. no damn genius. No. Nah. It's clear to me what he's doing. He's going against the grain on everything. Everything, everything black. He goes against the grain. Right. Well, think, that don't make you a genius. Well, Sometimes think, the majority is right. Well, I right. think the genius part come with the, you know, his, his producing. I think that that's the, you know, people say he's a genius as far as creating music and, and you know, He's a he's a genius as far as um, advertising and, and. I mean, he may like, you may I ain't crazy about his music, man. but he may be a you may could call him you may could get away call him a musical genius, but so is R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. And, and what I don't understand is like, and I know there's uh, uh, there's got to be some kind of system out there that lets him get away with all this type of propaganda. Less than two months ago, dude, you were just cutting off Pete Davidson's head, who's a white man. You just cutting off his head, and now all of a sudden you come back with White Lives Matter. You just cutting this man's head off and threatening to kill him when he was sleeping with your wife and busting your wife down, and now all of a sudden you get back to White Lives Matter. And, and nobody brings that up. I mean, uh, just for him to just get that. I mean, it's, almost, it's so ridiculous, man. It almost had you just like, what? And then he knew who to let stand next to him. He knew who. What she stood for. She a fool, too. Oh, all, all day, every day. Uh, ca uh, ca uh, Candace Owens. Candace Owens. What a fool. All day, every day. I mean, can you be a bigger, hoish type person than to just <laughs> go along with anything? Man, look. That was, that was, a, that was a hoe by definition. Well, she she, she's always huh? going to have she a white, platform. Right? 
No, she ain't white. She gonna always have a platform. She ain't white. Kind of ain't on white. the inside, on the inside, she thinks she is. But she gonna always have a platform because she, she married a white guy that's worth 156 million, and that's why she can continue to do the stuff that she do. That's why she can continue to do the stuff she do. Nah, it's crazy. It may sound and she's gonna say some stuff that I, I get it when she's kind of criticized some things when it comes to way certain black women are doing, but the rest of the stuff I'm off. She is just. Totally. I can rattle off some shit white women doing. That ain't no damn oh, I, that exactly. ain't no damn excuse. Oh, for, yeah, for what she does. But I'm going to tell you point. this. I'm going to tell you why. Financially, it may benefit him. But I'm just saying, man, where your soul at, brother? Yeah. Where your soul at? Even if he make another billion dollars off this shit, where is your soul? Don't you know they playing you, player? Big time. I've said the same thing, and I ain't no over the top. Conspiracy theories, but don't it strike y'all as strange that the two black Supreme Court justices are married, are married to, to white people? Yeah, I, I said. And that I'm not too. no racist. I mean, you know, God, yeah, God, it was straight God bless you. <laughs> but out of all the people yeah, yeah. in the United States, yeah. out of all the qualified black judges, mm -hmm. the two. That you have on the Supreme Court, yep. both have white spouses. Yep. And I don't care how you look at it, yep. if you are married to one, whenever they bring up something, you're going to have to know you're going to be sympathetic. sympathetic. Yeah, you're going to yeah. compromise. They know you're, you're going to be sympathetic. sympathetic. There yeah. is nobody, to my knowledge, white on the Supreme Court that's yeah, married to somebody black. No, no. Nah. Don't have to be. Yeah, huh? no. Don't have to be. Ain't gonna be. They ain't even gonna Hell no. It's a way to keep that keep that leash on a nigga. And 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 God bless him. He was my main man, man. But I actually think having a white mother helped Barack Obama. I think oh, so most too. Most definitely. Most definitely. I think so too. Most Ari definitely. Spears, Ari, Ari Spears made a nice uh -huh. joke about like he can go down a little bit soft because he had a little bit of cream in him. I think he was just, if he was just all black, you know, uh, would have been too strong. His mama's name yeah. was Tammy. He wouldn't have made it. Back in the day, <laughs> you know, I told a joke about him telling, they say his grandmother was a white woman, real racist. And uh, back in the day, I used to tell a joke where his grandma, he talking to his grandmama, she was dying. She did die, but the joke was he was talking to his grandmama, she was dying and and she said, I love you, even though you a little black boy. <laughs> Thank you, Grandmama. Thank you, Grandmama. And before you die, I want you to know I'm going to be the President of the United States. And, and it says, Grandmama took her last breath and said, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> and died. Mm. And died. But he was, my, he was, he was a man. Uh, no doubt about it. But I doubt. I, now I ain't going to doubt that he would have made it. I think him having a white mother softened the blow. Softened the blow. I think made him more embraceable, by yeah. the way. If, mm -hmm. if he had a black mother and a black father, he wouldn't have got it. And they pulling that same shit on the Supreme Court. You got two black Supreme Court justices. Both of them got white spouses. Yep. And God bless you, you know. If it do. I, don't, I could give a shit. But I'm just saying, There's ain't that ain't that ain't that a coincidence? Ironic. Yeah. Yeah. Ironic. Ain't that ironic? Ironic. We'll be back.